put a harvesting machine in Hugh Morris's farm so that he could evaluate the harvesting of his algae. And I hadn't heard from him for a while, and I called him up and I said, how's it going? He says, well, I'm getting some interesting results. So I decided to see what he was up to. His problem was that he had algae in a bioreactor on his farm, and he had all this water, gallons and gallons of water, and a minuscule amount of algae. His challenge was, how do I get a concentrate from that large quantity of water into a usable form? So the harvester permits him to concentrate and then to add the correct dose to his machinery that disperses amendments to his soil. You remember the old food revolution was based on chemical fertilizers, and that worked great, but it tended to damage soils over time. Algae can be entirely beneficial and actually complement chemical fertilizers. Hugh inoculates the reactors with fertilizer. We use 150 grams of fertilizer to get one gallon of concentrate, and one gallon of concentrate will treat this entire pasture right here, 16 acres. 16 acres. His farming methods are being explored as possibly a groundbreaking method for increasing production from soil. We're uh, in trials with Texas A&M and some different areas, and then we have our own trials going on on large acreage, fern in Florida, rice here in Texas. His machine is a production machine. It's not a testing machine. He actually produces the algae, he harvests the algae, so he's a complete mini system. I envision being a possible rollout for many other farmers. That is saving the farmer 40% is fertilizer bill. What this means is yet another chapter, another milestone in Origin Clear's development of a series of beneficial uses for removing solids from water, in this case a beneficial solid algae.